such an exciting day because we're at a HomeSense grand opening. I can't even begin to tell you, my jaw is literally on the floor. This looks like it was taken straight from a pottery barn. Is this not the most glorious thing you've ever seen? Oh my gosh, this store is a hundred times better than Home Goods. Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando. I make all shopping and shop with me videos. And today is such an exciting day because we're at a HomeSense grand opening. If you've never heard of HomeSense, it is the Canadian version of Home Goods. But here in America, they're actually meant to be like complimentary sister stores. And they say that HomeSense is supposed to have a much bigger furniture selection, more like ceiling lighting, bigger rug section. So I'm super excited to get in there and check it out. This is only the second location to open in Florida. There's less than 40 in the United States states so far so I'm really really excited that we got one within driving distance Brian came with me on a little or he took me on a little road trip today I should say it's about 40 minutes from Orlando where we live and I'm just super excited to get in there and check it out we're gonna be talking about is home sense better than home goods kind of comparing the two and just see everything that they have if you're excited be sure to give this video a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell I'm literally dying to get in there and check out all the things they have I'm hoping that they'll have a kids section but I don't think that they do but either way we're gonna head inside and check it out right now here it is i'm so excited to see what it's like and what they have and all of the things we just walked in and oh my god wow it was like both of our reaction to this store it is it's incredible wait till i show you this i can't even begin to tell you my jaw is literally on the floor look how beautiful this store is okay so i'm gonna get into showing you all the different sections we just did like a full walk around i asked the employees some questions i just wanted to make sure like i fully understood the store how it works and things like that so it's just like home goods where the one you see is the one you get this store just opened so they do have a lot of back stock but the items are absolutely stunning and there's just so many light fixtures. Wait until you see the rug section. Like I said, we're about to get into like the nitty gritty and looking at like individual pieces that are sticking out to me. But oh my gosh, this store is a hundred times better than Home Goods. So starting right here, they have this really beautiful couch. These items, I wouldn't say that they're like more expensive than Home Goods. I feel like if you found this at Home Goods, it would cost the same. I just think here they have like a more elevated selection so they have this white sectional right here the material is beautiful it's a really really nice material it feels almost like between like a linen and a chenille and it's like a very bright white color then they do have it paired with these tables so these tables they come as a set for $7.99 look how beautiful they are there's like the glass and then it has that like floral pattern underneath with like a really pretty brass color you get the side table and the coffee table and then the couch is 5000 so like I said expensive but I feel like if you found this at home goods it would cost the exact same the tags are the exact same as you see at like a TJ Maxx or a home goods this says that you'd compare it at 8000 and here it is five they have this set look at this table it has like a whole tree underneath this is a two thousand dollar dining table it looks very high-end like a super super designer table and then they have it paired with these chairs they have this like grayish taupey material on the top that's like very heathered and then like a dark brass accent. This is 149. They do have the four, so they'd be 149 each. I really, really like the way they paired these more modern chairs with this table. This is such a statement piece. Something that really sets them apart from home goods are all of the lighting fixtures, like these ceiling lighting fixtures. They have so many to choose from and they're very well organized and they're really really well priced like I feel like home goods online you see a lot of ceiling light fixtures but you never ever see them in the stores here's a bunch of the gold ones that they have I really really like this one right here that'd be so pretty over a dining room table then right here they have more like silvers more moderns you're gonna find a mix of like pendant lights chandelier lighting and what you see here like these ones are the one that you will go home with here are like some darker there's a mix of like glam and rustic I could seriously stand here all day and look at all of these lightning fixtures here this one's like super like um rustic like traditional farmhouse look at that one it's absolutely massive can you believe these and where they have the upper ceiling lighting these are all lamps organized completely differently than how they typically do it at tj maxx and home goods Look at how stunning all of these are. It does seem like they have a good amount of like pairs. Like a lot of things are paired very well together. And then they have this entire wall. 
Is this not the most glorious thing you've ever seen? This dining table, this looks like it was taken straight from a pottery barn. This is only 800. Look at the thick legs. You guys know I love a statement leg on like a coffee table or a dining table. So I love these really thick block legs. The color of this is also absolutely beautiful. It's solid pine wood. The price is really good. I would say I don't have a measuring tape with me, but this is probably like 90 inches. We have all 72 inch tables in our house and this is definitely Definitely like at least a foot and a half longer than those. This is a steal. I want to know your thoughts so far. Crazy nice. You like everything so far? I can actually hang out in this store because it's organized and I don't want to have a panic attack because everything's everywhere. Yeah, he does not like, well, he really doesn't love like TJ Maxx and Home Goods. It's just clutter city. But this store is a lot nicer. This is nice, fresh, clean, organized. But I'll be interested to see if it's still like that in six months. Same. Yeah. But it feels like they're going to try to keep it more classic department store. Everything's in its place yeah. kind of thing. Okay, so we're loving it. And then here is kind of what the rest of the furniture section looks like. They have a lot of couches, and then they do have them paired and styled with different tables. But a lot of the tables are actually up against this back wall, and I'll show those to you in just a minute. Just wanted to kind of show you more of these couches. So here's another sectional they have. This one is 2500 It's a really nice performance fabric. Then they do have a lot of accent chairs. Like, look at all of these. They do have some pairs, and then they have some motorized ones as well. They have this Natuzzi leather chair. It's a motorized recliner. You could use this in, like, a nursery. This is a 1000 Then they do have some other recliners as well. These could definitely be used in like a nursery setting if you're looking for a nursery chair these leathers are so nice this one's $5.99 it's a really unique like dusty grayish blue color they do have a couple different creams then they have those ones over there there's just so many options this is a super interesting coffee table so these actually fit together like puzzle pieces if you can see on the top so these can be together or you can separate them i'm not sure i'm a little bit confused about the price i can't tell if they're 3.99 each or if it's 3.99 for the whole table so i would definitely need to get a little bit of clarification on that but i think it's a really cool concept there's a ton more couches right here like all different sizes different configurations and these ones are all 1700 they have a couple different colors here's another one this one's from tahari this one's also 1700 this one's a super unique shape this one's 2000 the pillows come with the couch on this one at least the ones that match the couch i think the blue ones they added on there this one is 2000 I wonder if they have like more info. They are pretty good about telling you like the brands at these stores. Definitely better than at Home Goods. Okay, this is interesting. It says Ellen DeGeneres on the tag. I wasn't aware that she had a furniture company like that, but the shape of this couch is very interesting. It's almost like kind of looks like a beam. Here are a ton more accent chairs. I just love how they have everything organized and like the way they have it lined up because I feel like it makes it a lot easier to see what they actually have. Okay, this is really cool. They have this entire set. So you get a nightstand, there's also like a three drawer chest, a dresser, and they have a matching headboard. Each of these pieces are sold separately, which is nice because you can pick and choose what will work for your space, but it's really cool how they have the entire set. Right here, they have a Fendi this is like a chase look at this it has like the silver with this like big tufted arm and then on here they have it decorated with these still in the plastic Versace pillows I've never seen stuff like this at home goods I have seen a Fendi piece before it was like the most expensive piece I've ever seen now this is officially the most expensive item I've ever seen at a store like this these pillows are 280 a piece look how pretty they are still in the plastic and then this chase is ten thousand dollars this raffia console is really nice this looks a lot like the one that I have in my living room which is the one from pottery barn but this is a really good dupe for it and this one's only 600 the one from pottery barn is like well over 2000 it's a really pretty like neutral wood color i love all the knots that it features i also really like the black hardware on here it also has the black legs this is stunning this dresser is really nice it's nice to see items like this because you don't often see items like dressers at home goods this is a thousand dollars it's 
absolutely massive like I would try to do the hand test but it's not gonna be an accurate description like this is not a normal like tall size dresser this is at least double the size this is really nice because it does feature soft clothes drawers so that's a really really nice accent that it has like I said this is a thousand these nightstands are really really nice as well again by Ellen DeGeneres I didn't even know she made furniture look at how nice these nightstands are these are stunning. These also feature a soft closed drawer. I love the color of them. These are $1,000 a piece. This is like pottery barn prices. They definitely do have items that are way cheaper. They have like the bookshelves, similar to what you'd find at Home Goods or TJ Maxx. These are $250. And they have a bunch of different colors of these bookshelves as well. This six drawer dresser is really nice. I would for sure want to change the hardware. I think you could make the dresser look way more expensive if you change the hardware. But I like the rattan on the front. It's like a really nice cool tone. This also has soft closed drawers. This is $700, which isn't honestly that crazy for a six drawer dresser especially one that's of a little bit nicer quality i like the white mixed with the cool toned rattan this is a good find right here they have this eight piece set so you get the table the six chairs and then you also get this cabinet that's like a very it's like a modern farmhouse feel for sure it has like the window painting but it has frosted glass this is a really, really nice color. And like I said, it's this whole eight piece set. So this is on clearance for 2400 from 2500 So they play the same game that Home Goods does, which gave me and Brian quite the chuckle. But this is actually a really, really nice set. And it's cool that you get that buffet with it. I feel like, I feel like that's a lot for the money. It is a lot of money though. On this back wall, they also have a ton of like smaller chests of drawers. They also have lots of end tables and ottomans. So it's kind of like a big mix. These items are definitely a lot more affordable than a lot of the ones we just looked at on the floor. Look at all of these options. They do have it broken up by color at least a little bit, but the options are truly endless. I like this arch cabinet. I feel like we recently saw this at Home Goods. This is $349 in a really pretty blue color. This white one is really nice as well. It has like the shiplap front and then it has this really nice gold hardware. This is $200. Just a huge mix. There's like a console table back here then there are some other like smaller entryway tables it's just like i said a massive mix but they have so many options i want to say another thing i've noticed too but it's hard for me to say this definitively i feel like i need to come back in six months but a lot of the items here are in much nicer condition than at home goods i feel like at home goods a lot of the items you can find have a little bit of damage on them like maybe they're not taken out onto the floor or treated with as much care as here but that could also just be because the store is literally brand new so like i said i'm gonna have to come back in six months and see if i still feel that way but i have a feeling that i will this is a 95 inch credenza it's really really big i love the design on the front i will say though it is like a glass behind so if i got this i'd probably put like baskets on the bottom so i could have some items that are like more hidden and then do the top shelf a little bit more decorative but it's not often that you find pieces this large this set is very modern but super nice so the first thing is this table this is a 55 inch dining table with smaller chairs you can fit eight people or around i do like the gold on the bottom it's obviously not my style but i feel like i never see stuff like this at other stores so i definitely wanted to be sure to point it out they have it paired with these four leather chairs that actually swivel on the top they have really pretty gold accenting these are by tahari and they're 250 each Okay, so right on this side is the decor studio portion of the store. So this is going to be like the home accent section at a normal home goods. There, of course, right now is like a really big emphasis on like the spring items, like outdoor furniture. And then you're going to see like a lot of pots and like other gardening type items in here. So these will become more seasonal for like Christmas or Halloween. But these first few aisles are going to be really comparable to the home accent section. So items that you'll see year round for normal home decor. Like I definitely see a lot of home goods goodies in here that I have showed before like a lot of these decorative boxes these dough bowls are really similar to a lot of the ones we've seen lately just a lot of these accents they don't have it organized exactly the same like they kind of do right here you see like more darker accents then they have more golds right here but it is very like clustered and kind of like packed very deep with home accents just like other stores they have several aisles of 
decorative pillows and in a lot of them they have the pillows on the top and then corresponding blankets on the bottom the blankets are extremely similar exactly the same as to what you'd find at home goods like same prices I want to say but they do have a really really great variety they also have a lot of the pillow sets I feel like they have a big amount of pillow sets here that could be because they just opened but they have a lot of different materials so many different shapes any type of pillow or color you need they have it right here they have the entertaining marketplace extremely similar to a home goods this is where you're gonna find a lot of like melamine kitchenware picnic baskets lots of coolers they also have like floating party cups outdoor picnic blankets and my home goods have aisles really similar to this they have the office section decorated with a lot of stunning office furniture first being this bookshelf this is $3.99 this is like a really pretty walnut color then they do have a lot of really great desks here's one right here this one's more gray it's from the made in Vietnam collection this is 200 but then they do have some like black options and then they have this really beautiful brown one this one is only 200 it's like a smaller like writing desk I would say it has three drawers right here and then it does have the opening in the back where you can put your cords through this actually opens up and has some power back there so you could plug your devices in that's a really nice feature especially for a desk that's under $200 I don't want to talk about it in today's video but they do have a lot of seasonal decor touches as well and these are items that I haven't seen at home goods TJ Maxx or Marshalls the seasonal decor like as far as holiday goes definitely seems to be spread out so I'll be interested to see come like Halloween or Christmas those really big holidays what they do for their seasonal decor but I'm definitely seeing lots of items here that I haven't seen at the other stores and some that I have like this bunny is definitely a popular one that you can find at home goods the like glamour eggs things like that so some I have seen some I haven't one section at the at-home store that has me absolutely blown away the rug section it's aisles and aisles of hanging rugs. They have them organized by size, style. I'm gonna show you some of my favorites, but I need to show you an overview of this whole rug section because it's way bigger than home goods. So these are definitely the biggest ones. It starts with like eight by 10 and then goes up to like nine by 12. But just look how many they have. They also have runners. Like these are all runners right here. So they have like five just right there. Then right here is all the five by eights. But look if I pan over look how many rugs they have i really like this one from tahari i like all the different like neutral colors that are in the grid pattern this is an 8x10 this is 349 this one from laloy is so nice this one is 400 this would be so 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 pretty for a nursery we are not doing colors like this i can't wait to show you what we are doing but i really love this one so pretty for a little girl's room or a playroom or even a dining room like just when you think there couldn't be more every time i turn a corner there's even more. I do love how on all the tags you can see what brand it is. So if you have like a brand loyalty or a brand preference, they make it pretty easy to kind of see what the different brands are. They have Calvin Klein right here. These are some of the 9x12s and 8x11s. They do also have a lot of smaller area rugs. These are like 5x7s, just some more obscure sizes and some runners. But it's just like incredibly organized. Ooh, oh gosh. They have this like big animal skin one right here. This is 200. This is natural cowhide. Ooh. I just love how every corner of the store is so nicely and neatly decorated. They also have a million and a half office chairs to choose from. Very, very neatly organized. They all range in price. I see some for like 99 up to 200. If you're looking for an office chair, you might want to check out this store. Right here by the office chair, they have lots of dining chairs. These are a crate and barrel dupe. These are $2.49 a piece from Tahari. They're black with like cane backing and then they have this really nice white upholstery and they do have a set of four here. Oh, they actually have a set of six. There's two more down here. It just seems like they have a lot of each chair. Like they have this gray barrel chair. They do have six of these. These are $1.49 a piece. And then right here, they have a really good selection of bar stools as well and they do have like sets of four like that's a set of four that's a set of four here's two there's four right there they just have so much of everything. Then right here, they call it the general store. So it says like clean. So that's like a lot of like the kitchen organization stuff, like trash cans and stuff like that. And they have utility 
organized and that's like semi broken down into like closet and laundry bath and bedding okay I'm gonna do one last loop see if anything else catches my eye and then I'm gonna give you all of my thoughts and Brian will give his as well when we get back to the car I'm sure you can tell that we absolutely love it here but I definitely have thoughts I want to expand on so that if you're planning on checking out home sense or making a trip here you know exactly what to expect so one thing I've also noticed is that they have really high-end appliances so this is a Jura car coffee machine at Crate and Barrel or Williams Sonoma they're 2400 here they have it the exact same one for 1500 we looked up the exact model I've never heard of this brand before but it's very very fancy another one is this giant Del Vita like wood fired oven this is the black one. It looks like it comes with all of the tools and even this little like Delvita fired wood oven cooking book. This is so cool. This is $1,500. Online they sell these bundles for anywhere from like 1,350 euros to 2,000 plus euros. So depending on what comes with it, that's a pretty good savings as well. It's just so interesting to see these big big items and then right here they have a bunch of like Dyson items so this like Dyson hot and cool fan they also sell like all of the filters here's another one and these are like 300 250 and like from Dyson they're anywhere from like four to five hundred okay just got done just got back in the car it was amazing I it was raised it was honestly this is, this is a bold statement. That might be my favorite store now. That, that yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna stand strong in that statement. That is officially well, my favorite home decor store. Not, besides for Target. Yeah, I was gonna say. Besides ahead for Target. Myself. It's way better than Home Goods. It's very, very organized. They have so much stock of everything. All of the merchandise is in impeccable condition. And it is nice that they do have like more high end like items. couches. Just all sorts of items. Tables. Yeah dressers yeah we saw tons chairs. of dupes for like pottery barn crate and barrel did you show the ten thousand dollar i did chase? yeah the fendi chase with the versace pillows i mean like, that'll probably be in there forever no one's going to home sense to spend 10k on a chase for sure so when i come back in three or four months it'll most likely be clearanced and still there but yeah that store is absolutely amazing i cannot recommend it enough if you have one near you definitely is worth the trip if you're anywhere around orlando definitely worth the trip I highly recommend. I'm very, very impressed, but I can't wait to hear your thoughts down below. I tried to just show like a broad range of what they had because I've never been there before and it's their grand opening. I also asked the employees tons of questions to make sure I was giving you guys the correct information. If you guys enjoyed this video and you haven't yet, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. I can't wait to come back here. If I'm looking for like a furniture piece, like something specific, this is definitely where I would go. But I feel like if you're looking for like stuff for your bathroom or like smaller home accents like that I wouldn't go to home sense they had a really really small bathroom section the bedding section was also kind of small so like they are like I said in the very beginning like they're known for like the bigger items so having like bigger furniture tons of lighting options that were like really really well priced yeah I absolutely loved it and I think it is like the perfect addition to like TJ Maxx Marshalls and home goods it is like the perfect complimentary sister store to them it was like the sister that they needed and I just absolutely loved it. But I can't wait to hear all of your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for shopping with me today and every day. I love you guys so much. Say bye, Brian. Bye, guys. Bye.